program is not just about the diet and workout. It's about changing your mindset for good. Because if you don't change the mindset, the lifestyle will never change. You have to go down to the deepest habits, the most little habits, to change your life, to change the way you think about the diet, the way you think about the workouts. Because it's the only way you'll ever stick to it. And that's what I'm here for, to keep you accountable and to change that programming in your head. <laughs> Today we're talking about keto, paleo, vegetarian, vegan, Whatever other juice diet, juice cleanse, cleanse, super diet is out there, diets that are fed to you like a magic pill. We're talking about those and why you're still fat on them, why you're still overweight on them, why you haven't got the body that you see in the fitness magazines on those diets. And plain and simply, it is because you're not tracking them. I have no problem with somebody eating keto. I have no problem with somebody eating paleo. I have no problem with somebody being a vegan or on a carnivore diet. What I do have a problem with though is you don't know what the fuck you're putting in your body. So you're not fucking yourself over by eating keto. You're fucking yourself over by not knowing what you're eating on keto. Keto is all about the fats, right? It's no carb, fats. Now I only shit on keto because it's the most mainstream. Everybody says, I'm eating keto, I'm losing weight. I'm, oh my God, I'm losing weight on keto. Oh my God, it's so awesome. Except for the fact that you don't know where you're eating. There are nine calories per gram of fat. Carbs and protein are only four calories. So you say you're eating keto, four ounces of this right here, which is ground lamb, is 320 calories compared to four ounces of chicken breast, which is only 95 calories, or four ounces of ground turkey, 99% lean, 120 calories, Diff different chemical makeup. This, because of the 20 grams of fat in it, is just ramping up your calories, and if you just fall back on the fact that you're eating keto and you're not tracking, you're not writing this shit down, you're not weighing food out, you're gonna very, very, very easily overeat. And the reason you are overweight is because the energy you're putting in is larger than the energy you're putting out, so your body stores it as fat. Plain, simply, fact of the matter, no questions about it. All you motherfuckers out there who just rely on keto and don't work out and are like telling everybody how you're keto, you would probably eat this whole thing of lamb right here. There's three servings in this container, four servings, four ounces. You could easily eat this. I could easily crush this right now. Don't rely just on keto. If you're gonna do keto, track it. If you're gonna do paleo, track it. Another big one that I see is people eating healthy. They're talking about their New Year's resolution and they start fucking eating granola bars. They start eating protein bars. There are a lot of good protein bars out there, but there are so many shit ones. So many shit ones. I look at that protein bar aisle and I get so heated. I get so heated at the amount of calories in there and the combination of fats, proteins, and carbs. There are literally 12 grams of protein and 15 grams of fat and 26 grams of carbs in some of these bars and they're just garbage. These big ones that you know, big ones. First of all, this is Nature Valley. I see so many people eating Nature Valley bars when they're like dieting, I'm on a workout. They don't know what they're doing. They just like to say they're dieting and they eat something different, right? Good first step, not knocking it, but don't be an idiot about trying to lose weight. Get into it. Get into it in terms of the fact of put massive, massive weight behind the littlest, smallest details. You're learning something new. Try to be a beginner. Don't try to front like you're not a beginner. These Nature Valley bars, 190 calories, and it's all fucking carbs, 29 grams of carbs. A lot of people, especially if you're a small girl, small woman, that is gonna be half your carbs in the day. But you're gonna eat this three times a day and say it's healthy. You're gonna eat another one of these at dinner and say it's healthy. You're gonna grab six handfuls of cashews, which is coming in at 160 calories per 20 pieces. I don't know about you, but when I eat 20 cashews, that's like two handfuls. I can eat like 25 cashews in one bite. Easy to overeat, it's too easy to overeat. You get into these other diets like vegetarian and vegan, harder to overeat, correct. But you're probably fucking yourself in the terms of you're not getting enough protein in. You can't just say you're vegan and then not look at the macros. If you're vegan for an environmental reason, if you're vegan for the animal reason, that's fantastic. But don't screw yourself over while trying to help someone else. Get detailed, get into the macros, get into the flow of it, enjoy it. 
Go weigh your food and enjoy the fact that you just got that win that nobody else around you is weighing their food. You're the only one who when they ask you what you ate for lunch, you say I ate eight ounces of chicken, I ate six ounces of broccoli, and I ate one English muffin. And they'll be like, are you fucking insane? Why do you know how much you ate? And you're like, because I have a vision and I'm going after it. Peanut butter. So many people eat peanut butter, not so much on keto, there's a lot of carbs in peanut butter, but something like mm, vegetarians, vegans, some people on paleo would throw this in the mix or just that dude in high school, that jock in the gym who's lifting, eating six peanut butter sandwiches a day. Peanut butter, 109 calories per two tablespoons. I've never made a peanut butter sandwich with less than like six tablespoons on, all right? Nobody's eating just two tablespoons. So you're fucking yourself by adding so many calories in. Fuck the peanut butter! Another thing too, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to diet, if you're trying to get in shape, and you're six weeks into it, and you're complaining about how you haven't lost weight, at the same time though, you're going to McDonald's looking up the macros on a fucking McDouble, you're an idiot. Like you know that you're not supposed to be eating that, but yet you go there, look up the macros on it, like it fits my macros. No, it's garbage for you is what it is. This, these are fucking mini hot dogs, right? Smokies. You could eat this and effectively stay keto. It's got less than two grams of carbohydrate in it. Five grams of protein, 15 grams of fat. 16 of these is the serving for 170 calories. It's keto, yeah, it's keto. I mean keto, I mean healthy, it's keto, right? Look at the shit you're eating. I see so many things in the store that say keto on them. Ice cream bars with keto and you know, fucking cauliflower pizza that's keto and all this shit and you look at it and like one pizza is 500 calories and one pizza is a serving. That's insane, that's bananas. Unless you're a linebacker, you should not be crushing a 500 calorie pizza while you're trying to lose weight. Like you have to be six foot seven in order for that to be your portion size. Peanuts, don't take a handful of peanuts. If you do, track it so you know what it is. Nothing against peanuts. I have nothing against all these foods. Honestly, like most of these foods are healthy except for maybe those hot dogs I had in Nature Valley. Fuck Nature Valley, I really don't like them at all because of how much they promote it. Like you should eat that bar if you're hiking. If you're hiking and you eat energy, eat that bar. Sour cream, could be keto, could be keto. Butter, you could eat this whole stick of butter and be fucking keto. Almonds, keto, 106 calories. I love almonds, but I know what I'm eating when I eat it. Cheese, how many people are only using a quarter cup of cheese? Not me, when I make nachos, it's the whole bag. Pistachios, everybody loves wonderful pistachios. Guess what, 170 calories per quarter cup. Quarter cup is literally like, that's that. That's what a quarter cup is. It's like a little tiny palm of your hand. That right there, something a little rabbit would eat. That's a rabbit food size portion. What I'm trying to say, the final part of the video is just know what you're eating. Know what you're doing to your body. Whatever you decide to do to lose weight, one, stick to it. Two, don't talk yourself out of it before you even get to the door. Don't talk about how you're not gonna lose weight because you can never stick to a diet. Say, I'm gonna stick to a diet because I'm doing it for my kids this time. Say, I'm gonna stick to a diet because I need to be a better person to my loved one, to my husband, to my wife. I'm gonna stick to this diet because my kids are going to school overweight. I don't want that form anymore. So in order to teach them, I must fully comprehend and I must do it myself. One thing I wanna to say too, if anybody's got problems with meal prepping, if anybody's got a struggle with meal prepping, I hate meal prepping. Four hours of my Sunday wasted on meal prepping is garbage. I use Chicken Pound, the Chicken Pound. Look them up, the Chicken Pound. I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm just thrilled that somebody came out with a product like this. They literally just sell grilled chicken. Grilled chicken with perfect macros. Cooking protein is the hardest part of meal prepping, right? So you just get this chicken, saves me three, four, five hours a week. And it's cheap, it's fucking cheap for a prepped meal. Anybody who's really looking at their macros doesn't need all the other bullshit in there. They just want the protein cooked. Anybody can heat up green beans or anything like that. The protein, the chicken pound, fantastic. I fuck with this chicken big time. If you've ever done one push up, one pull up, one sit up, looked up diet one time and you didn't follow through, you're cheating yourself. You're cheating those around you of the happiness you could be giving them. You're cheating those around you of the knowledge you could be giving them. Go into today to create a product you fucking love. Don't slip up. Make today the change. If you're serious about making a change, click the link below to my program. Subscribe to this so you see more of these videos. Message me on Instagram or Twitter. 
down to answer any questions you got about anything you got. And if you're running keto, you're running paleo, and you're shredded, I'm fucking stoked for it. Anybody can. I'm not saying anybody can't. But if you're not tracking, you're still overweight, and you're still not happy with where you're at, cut the fucking food out. Cut the fucking granola bars out. Cut the peanuts out. Cut the almonds out. Cut the fucking pistachios out. The peanut butter out. The ground beef. Learn where you're putting in your body. Fucking take a stand to where you want to go in life. Take a stand to the vision you want. Take a stand to the knowledge you want. And fuck the rest. Fuck the rest.